Today I'd like to speak with you about getting more out of your major scales in terms of hearing the intervals within the scale. Now most people just play the scale up and down. They're going to go like this. Nothing wrong with that, except that I think you can get more out of the scale if you go in this way and you go first note to second note. Then you play the first note to the third note. Then the first note to the fourth note. Because now you're really hearing the intervals. Major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh, which is my favorite one, perfect octave. Okay, that's so much better than just hearing whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. I mean, they're both good, but hearing those intervals to the point where I could sing each one, that's very beneficial to my ear, and it comes into play a lot when I'm improvising a solo that I can hear those distances. So, I'm going to just play it once like I would do it, and this is so we're going as far as the numbers go, one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight. And I like to put a nice rhythm on it to make it even more musical, so I'll go one, two, three. Okay, let me do that again. One, two, three. Okay, and we can work our way back down. Okay. Now we can go the other way as well. If we want to go from the top down, it's going to be a different set of intervals actually. So we're going to go 8, 7. That's a minor second. Minor second. 8, 6. Minor third. Perfect fourth. Okay. Perfect fifth. Minor sixth. Minor seventh. Perfect octave. So let's apply the rhythm to that one. One, two, three. Okay. This is a very musical way of working on the scales and you're getting the added benefit of hearing all the intervals involved. Okay, so let's say we're going to go to the next key, do it in F. Then maybe I'll go, okay, I went to E flat, maybe I'll go to, uh, it was B flat, I'll go to E flat. Okay, you can really make these fun and be working on your ear training all at the same time. And so try this with, you could do this with all the scales, you can do it with all the modes, but I suggest starting out with just major and just get really comfortable with it, okay? Back to C, just to close. sharp. I like to pair the more difficult scales right next to the easy ones. So I sort of think of them as being in a family together and usually there's one member of the family that's very basic and the other one's a little more complicated. So here I did C and C sharp. All right, you can practice them like that. That's chromatically. Or you can practice them in the cycle. But really get comfortable with this idea. One, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight. Then the other way, 8, 7, 8, 6, 8, 5, 8, 4, 8, 3, 8, 2, 8, 1. In all 12 keys, if you're ready for it. And it's a lot of fun, and uh, you're going to start hearing these intervals all over the place, okay, when you start doing it like that. So have fun with that one.